Hi, my name is Sahil Chaudhary and we are at Sensors Expo 2019. I'm a product marketing manager at, at InventSense and we are representing motion sensors here. So I have some I have a really interesting demo with one of our six axis motion sensors with an accelerometer and a gyroscope. We are showing it with our Qualcomm RV3 robotics platform with Snapdragon 845. The, the feature we're highlighting is one of the differentiating factors in the sensor. So we call this the RTC clock input feature. What it allows us to do, it allows us to feed in a clock input signal, a real-time clock input signal uh, that could drive PPM levels of clock accuracy. Now we would think, why would that matter? But in applications like virtual reality, augmented reality, um, uh, applications like robotics, uh, drones, where you really need rotations to be detected very, very accurately, you need this kind of clock accuracy to, be, to avoid the smallest trips while you're moving your head and trying to, trying to make sure the screen also moves in the same direction. That's the kind of demo we've created to show how these small things matter in critical applications like these. So what we're doing is, I'm simply going to move this board in a clockwise direction for one or two times. And you'll see the picture with the clock input on would, would retain its prime position. Whereas the picture with the clock input off, uh, you know, with, which has the regular clock running inside, would, would show some amount of drift. And that would create a problem uh, for, for critical applications, as I mentioned. So let's quickly do this. So if I move this in a clockwise direction, this is one rotation, and this is two. So after two rotations, you can see here that this picture is very much where it started, whereas this picture has drifted by a while. This is all because of the clock accuracy difference, which creates a difference in the sampling. You're not getting 10 samples, but you're getting 12 samples in the same time period, whereas here you're exactly hitting that mark. And that small difference is causing this kind of a drift. So, uh, with our sensors, we also have very good noise performance uh, and very high sensitivity, which is again critical for applications like these. Thank you so much.